Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play the Catacomb Apocalypse 3D! And when last we left off, we were now in the Wizard's Maze, trying to find our way out of the Wizard's Maze, because the Wizard's Maze is most certainly a long and tricky series of corridors, full of only a few enemies, but a lot of danger. And so, with all this danger, we need to uh, see if we can figure out where the exit is, and move on from there. Because if we uh, know where the exit is, we can... Uh, hello! There's an enemy we haven't seen before! A nemesis head that most certainly is going to, uh, well, was very, very dead now. Okay, we're in the southeastern passages here, and there is an enemy that we have, uh, hello, that we've not yet encountered, which we need to be very, very careful about. There we go, and now we can get access to all of this loot, and loot is a very good thing indeed. And round here is, uh, a small area that we need to be very careful of. Anything in here of any use? The answer is a resounding no. No, there is not. Naughty- Oh, hello! There's something here, though! There's an enemy that we need to deal with. There we go. Anything else? Well, there's loot. And loot is always a good thing, indeed. And I think using a curing potion might be worthwhile, but not just yet. We need to be very, very careful. We don't know where the exit is, after all, and we want to make sure that we find the exit so that we can try out this key that we found, and see if it will indeed lead us over to the way out. Anything over here? Well, this looks remarkably familiar. Here is the exit. Let's see if this will indeed get us out of here. A green key will bring us to, uh, that is blatantly an enemy. And indeed, that is an enemy, and it just wasn't active just yet. We need to be very, very... there we go! One dead enemy? Will we be allowed to uh, go through unhindered? The answer... is no. We need another key. And that is going to be tricky, because we need to go and find this key, while um, trying our best not to die absolutely horribly. So let's uh, give it our best, shall we? Go over here and round here. Anything else? Well, there's an area over here we could try and go. Left or right, the central passages, which we haven't really explored that much. Oh, hello! There's an enemy here that I haven't seen, though! How are you? I'm very glad that you decided not to attack whatsoever, because you would have been a very tricky... Hello! You are a much less tricky foe to face, though. And what is round here that is... Aha! Another key! Marvellous! Now it's a very simple uh, task of backtracking and uh, finding my way to the next level, and hoping that it is not full of doom, destruction, and large amounts of death for us. At least I hope it is not full of any of those things. It's going to be full of loads of those things, isn't it? And if I remember rightly, we need to go this way to get out. And indeed, this is the way out, which is brilliant, and I most certainly am going to save now, because I do not want to get lost in that place ever, ever again. Shall we pass through? Yes, we shall. We are now in a new challenge. It does not say what that challenge is yet, but we shall figure it out. And it is an area that is, uh, the underground sewers, because apparently we weren't in a- You have a gun! You are a skeleton that has been given a gun! Well, I suppose that is indeed a necessary upgrade, because you are in the future, after all. And that enemy is now very dead. I do not like the fact that Nemesis has armed the skeletons with guns. Couldn't they just have future swords or something? Swords made with energy! rather than having, uh, guns. To be fair, though, I'm surprised they can even use guns. Guns, after all, are, uh, very difficult to use compared to swords, and this enemy is still alive. I can see all of the enemies, though, so, um, we need to be very, very careful. All we need to do is find the way out, I imagine, and, uh, try our best not to die horribly. That is a big, uh, tentative, uh, statement, because we may still die horribly. Now, wouldn't it be really awesome if the, uh, skeletons came out of the water with those guns, just sort of emerged, 
ready, also they are not the best shots, which is not surprising, considering the fact that they are skeletons. Hello! And down you go! Excellent. Oh, there's an enemy there. They don't hurt that much, and they're nowhere near like the other enemies, but that is now the second enemy that is completely submerged. They do have a ranged attack, though. I have just seen it, and it is quite nasty. I think it only did 5% damage, but they would stack up eventually. What's over? Hello! That is over there, an enemy that seeks to kill us. And there are two of them! Being very, very careful not to get hit by the melee attack, which inevitably will be quite nasty. Let's uh, use that cure potion. What's over here? There is an area we have not been, and a... Hello! An area that we will be going to shortly once we deal with... Uh-oh! We've accidentally unleashed all of those skeletons, and even more enemies! I think it is time for a zapper. Or ten. Okay. Oh! Did I accidentally blow up some of those? I hope I did not, because there are loads of enemies here! It is time for exterminators, most certainly. Do not want to die here. Not at all. Any more of them? There are two more we need to be very careful about. There we go. Are they dead? They are dead. And there was nothing in there worth getting at all. What about in here? I think I didn't blow any of them up. Which is good. That one had not a lot in it. That one had not a lot in it. This one had not a lot in it. And that one... They were some very, very disappointing uh, treasure chests there. Although maybe the magic got soggy and it's not very good when wet. It's like, magic, do not use when wet. That may explain why these enemies have guns instead of magic. Or it could just be that uh, Nemesis went, hey, have guns. And then the enemies had, oh, the enemies have loads of guns. I'm really starting to feel at a disadvantage here, considering the fact that I am not armed with a gun. You know what, I wouldn't even mind a gun that was just a, you know, a gun that fired magic. At least then, maybe uh, Everhale would have, uh, you know, upgraded his arsenal, but no, it would seem he is quite content to just attack things with guns. Also, here is the final drainage channel, which we can just go through to get to the next challenge which hopefully is not going to be terrifying. The antechamber to the flooded city. This city apparently has tons and tons of water in it, and we need a yellow key. Fortunately, there are indeed uh, places we... Oh, hello! Large amounts of enemies here with guns. I suppose that makes sense that they'd be waiting for us, although how I didn't notice them when I was going through the first time, I've no idea. Hello! Would you like to make a terrible mistake, and that mistake being, uh, coming into firing range? Yes, you would! Why don't I just pick up one of those guns? You could just reach down, Everhale! I'm sure you could find it! But no, apparently he is content with just his magic missile. With a K. So I imagine we're going to need to go this way, through this rusted door, to, uh, find where that key is. Also, that uh, graphic there for them being in the water did not work exactly well, so they were sort of floating above the water for a little while. Levitating skeletons, indeed! Right, the hearing chamber of the death squids. They are death squids? I really don't think they're squids. I really don't think they're squids. And there is another skeleton with a gun. I really wish they had swords again. I miss them having swords. Swords were fine. They were absolutely fine. Is there anything in here? Well, there is loot. Loot is fine, and we're close to having a hundred zappers, which is always nice. But, uh, not much- ah! Not much else but. Here are some more treasure chests. And over here is a small passageway. And, not surprisingly, that does not explode. I think saving here might be a good idea, because the last thing we want to have happen is something terrible like a crash. Ah! You must be the famous death squids I have heard so much about! Come at me with your guns, and I shall defeat you with my magic that is apparently vastly superior to guns. 
Even the guns that look like they fire bolts of energy. My bolts of energy from this magic finger with a ring on it are so much better, apparently. I really wish I had a gun right now, but no, no guns for me. And more loot! The secret chamber of the de Oh, is it death squads, not death squids? I think I misread that. That was very silly, but from now on, they shall be the death squids. I have no idea why I read that as squid. Oh well! Now with the Death Squids firmly defeated, we shall now fight more of them! Aha! You shall perish! I may have said a word wrong, but that will mean nothing when you are dead. More dead than, uh, you already are! Alright, anything- oh, hello! There you are! You see, if you had a sword right now, it would be so much better for attacking me. You could just swing it, and it would hurt. Also, we need another key, but we can find another key. Also in here is a uh, very small passageway that leads to more treasure. Marvelous! That is a lot of treasure. Brilliant. Only the Death Squids could hide that much treasure in obvious sight. And I don't remember how I got into here, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. How did I get into here? It clearly wasn't this way. We need to... Ah, yes, it's this way. That was quite cleverly hidden. In plain sight. But now I must hunt more skeletons with guns. Like that skeleton, who also has a gun. That gun really hurts. That was 7% of my health. Gone with just a single shot. Quite nasty indeed. Alright, what's in here? Nothing at all. Nothing at all? More skeletons of the Death Squid Squad. Move aside, skeletons with guns, for I must defeat Nemesis. Again. Again. How many times can a Nemesis be defeated? As many times as is necessary. Any more? There is one more to be defeated. And defeated that enemy most certainly was. Anything in here? Well, apart from this here, that appears to have some very nice loot in it. Um, no, there appears to be nothing in here. Oh, no, wait, there is something here. There is a slightly futuristic vibe to this area that appears to have lots and lots of these skeletons. And that one that appears to be constantly shooting me. If you would stop constantly shooting me, that would be brilliant. You are now dead. The guard room of the Death Squad. Well, we now have the key, which means we can backtrack and uh, go back to that door and open it. Let's go. We don't actually have that many healing potions. We only have 35. Gotta be very careful. We used a lot of them in the last fight in Armageddon. I don't want to know about how many we'll be using later. Probably a lot. Also, some loot that I didn't notice before. Aha! Excellent! Anything else? Well, there's this area that we have already opened. We, in fact, have backtracked a fair bit here. And by a fair bit, I mean a lot. Now, was it down here where that door was I needed to? Yes, yes it was. There it is! Hello! Are there going to be more? Yep, more skeletons with guns here. Because why not, eh? They have been defeated. Oh, there are a lot of them! There are a lot of them! The protected chamber of the time gate. We most certainly need that time gate. I don't know what the time gate actually leads to, but uh, these skeletons with guns are absolutely obliterating me. And so long when these final ones are defeated, to the Death Squids, the most competent squadron of skeletons with guns that you've ever seen. There we go, I think they're all gone. Let's move through. Where is this going to take us? Who knows? Maybe to another area that we've already been to. Maybe to here, the computer core. I don't know why we're at a computer core, but it's quite handy that we are, I suppose. This door will open automatically, and will this door open automatically? No. What about this door? Will this door open? 
yes it will. And there appear to be some big mechs that will probably hurt a lot if I let them get anywhere near me. So we're going to make sure they don't get anywhere near me. They don't appear to have any kind of ranged weapon though. Which is a very, very... Oh, well, they do. They do. We need to be very, very careful of that ranged weapon. Oh, we need to be very careful of that ranged weapon because it hurts. Also, they do appear to explode, much like the, uh, the exploding trolls from Armageddon. Which is not bad. Also, there is another one. Is that one exploding? Yes, yes it is. Brilliant. And there are these little eye things that will just float around, and we are going to shoot them. And they will explode, because we don't want them around at all. Even slightly. Hello! There is another one of those mech things there that we want to blow up when we eventually find it, because it went over that way. The Neural Input Chamber. I get the feeling that Everhale has no idea what he's doing when it comes to computers. At all. There are a lot of enemies here! I think it's time to use some of these uh, very, very powerful uh, exterminators, because we most certainly want to deal with all of these, rather than just some of them. There we go. Not bad, there are just loads of enemies here. Absolutely loads of them. And there are still more! There are even more here than I originally thought. But there's only one more left. Kaboom! And where is that last one? Over here! Aha! I bet Everhale has no idea what's happening here. He's like, well, these just look like metal demons to me. I can kill demons! And so he killed absolutely loads of robots, not knowing at all what they were. Also, here is a key. Excellent. The storage area is indeed full of nice things. Like, not guns. Why are they not full of guns? They are, however, full of magic. That is indeed very useful to us, but it does make me wonder why it's so full of magic. At all. It shouldn't be. It most certainly shouldn't be. It should be full of... technological things. Like guns. Or anything. A keycard, maybe. We're still using normal keys, as opposed to, uh... Also, I don't want to blow up that uh, thing at all there. We have enough of uh, these zappers that we can just start uh, using them quite uh, quite liberally here. There we go, because if we don't, we're going to die. Very, very nastily. Also, there is an enemy right next to us, and we need to cure there because we would have died really badly. Exterminator time. I think we're okay. That was a lot of uh, enemies there. And another key. And I might have accidentally blown up one of the um, one of the chests there. But that's okay, because we have the key in question. You know what? I'm starting to miss the skeletons with guns already. Bring back the death squids, if you ask me. They were much easier to handle. And one of these doors... Uh, not one of these doors. That door. There we go. One blue key. You know, we didn't actually go into the other area at all. Or did we? No, I don't think we did. And we used the green key there. So we can now go into the open field array, full of these robots! Absolutely full of them! This is going to be rather tricky. And by rather tricky, I mean it's time to use lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of zappers. Because these are uh, eye things are now starting to attack us, and they hurt. They hurt. They hurt a lot. Oh, we are in fact dead. That is unfortunate. Very unfortunate, and I do not remember the last time I saved. Was it all the way back in the previous area? It may have been. It indeed was. Quite a while ago. And so, give me one moment, and I'll be right back. Once more, I have fought my way through the Death Squids, and there is an enemy behind me that decided to be very, very sneaky. Unfortunately for that enemy, that enemy was not sneaky enough, and now I must obliterate everything that is in this room, without failing. And we'll do this by being very, very careful, and luring only a few of them at a time, 
and using copious amounts of uh, hiding behind this corner here to uh, deal with this enemy. Also, these enemies here are really, really fast, and an exterminator or two will go a long way to making sure that uh, we don't lose absolutely horribly here. And why not use one exterminator when you can use absolutely loads of them? And zappers! Copious amounts of zappers! Because there actually aren't that many enemies in here, but they all attacked at the same time, which pretty much meant that uh, we took a lot of damage needlessly. There is one that went into here that uh, I'm quite sure I can deal with if I'm very careful. And there we go! That was much better! We just need to get rid of this last one here. And there we go, I think I've managed to deal with all of them this time round. And indeed, there's only a few of them left, and we can uh, quite safely deal with them while keeping a constant eye on my health, because we don't want that to go too far down. Because if you do let it go too far down, the uh, ranged projectiles that are thrown at you will most likely seal your doom. And you may try and run, but I fought the death squids. What chance do you stand? Absolutely none is the answer. And what was in here that was worth all of this fighting? Why, even more enemies and a singular key. And a singular enemy too. And when we come back, folks, we most certainly are not going to blow up this computer. Because Everhale wouldn't have the first idea on how to successfully disable it, apart from blasting magic absolutely everywhere. And when we come back, we will try to get closer to Nemesis, who I fear may be using technology to strengthen his evil plans for conquering the world! At least I think that's Nemesis's plan. We have no idea. At all. None of these games have explained why Nemesis is trying to do anything. So let's just presume that evil is the goal, and move on. Also, there are a lot of exploded robots here. Would have been easier if we'd have had a gun. So I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.